What's happening YouTube? This is your man Paul Radio Man 2094 here. Back again with another video as usual. And this one's kind of a long story, but what was it? Last week I did the full review for the Samsung Galaxy Buds. And uh, I guess the video didn't upload that well. It was uploaded, but I haven't got any comments on it. I didn't get any likes. It's, I don't know. And it didn't show up on my main videos and stuff. But today we're going to do the full review again. So I placed everything back in the box. So we're going to get right into it. So, stand by. Let's do this. Uh. And I'll leave the link up in the description if you guys want to buy them and stuff. The price normally goes for 100 bucks or 80 depends on how much you get it for. But I'll leave that link up in the description for the first generation since there's two other ones out too. But yeah, it's available on Amazon. It's available at Walmart. And it comes in like four different colors. You got this color black. You got white, silver, yellow. And then, of course, the limited edition Star Wars colorway. And then you got Legendary Sound by AKG. And if you guys don't know what AKG uh, is owned by, AKG is a subdivision of Harman. So Harman's the one that makes the JBL speakers and stuff. And then Harman Kardon as well. And then, and then Harman's a subdivision of Samsung as well. So, And of course... You got a wireless charging case that's Qi certified wireless charging. And then you got ambient sound mode. And then you got six hours with the buds. And then seven hours with the charging case. So it's a total of 14 hours. And then you got an app that's available on Google Play and then the App Store. Alright, now let's get right into these. Alright, so I like the presentation though. But like I said, I put these back in the box. I've been using these for about a full week after I shot the video and then I messed up on the video. So I was impressed with these. But all right. So these are going to be your earbuds. Of course, Samsung Sound by AKG. And of course, you got USB type C charging right here. And Qi certified wireless charging case. To, and then if you got the black uh, Galaxy A11 or any black Galaxy phone, this is a perfect combination right here. This is a flex. Unfortunately, my phone doesn't have a reverse wireless charge or wireless charge, but it's all good. But all right, let's see what's in here. You got your different size uh, wing tips and then ear tips in here or fins or whatever you want to call it. And then your USB Type-C charging cable. I just put everything back in the box, but I'm going to take it out just for the hell of it. Why not? Of course, you guys get the idea. You guys have probably seen plenty of videos on these guys already, so no need to, you know, do all this again. But let me, let me uh, just put them back in the box, though. But you guys pretty much get the, you know, drill, whatever, so. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get uh, my phone back on the case, and then we'll do some more testing. Stand by. All right, so let's check one important feature, wireless charging. So I got the earbuds right here, and let me turn off my flash real quick. Wireless charging. Wireless charging works on these. All right, so let's check how strong the magnets are in the case real quick. So I'm going to tip them over like this. And let me hold the, the thing real quick. Yeah, the magnets are not strong. Just keep that in mind. All right, so let's uh, do some more testing real fast. Here's another thing. Once you get these, whenever you like open up the case... It's, you're going to get a pop-up. It's going to say new device connected. New new device. Uh, you get the idea. 
um, whenever you get that pop up. But you get what I'm saying though. But anyways, let's uh, check the pop up uh, notification real quick. Our new device detected was meant to say, my bad guys. But alright, it's been a long week though. But anyways, alright, of course I got the buds right here. I'm going to open up the case, put them on my table, and let's check the pop-up notification. Of course, you see, I got 100% and 95, left 100, right 95. But let's check it one more time for good measures. So, all right. And if you got a Galaxy phone, you'll get that instant pairing too. Of course, yeah, 100 and then 95. But, all right. Now let's uh, check the music real quick, or real quick, let's uh, let's take it over to the fit. Let's see how they look on the ears. Stand by. Alrighty guys, so this is how they look in the ears. I'm gonna get up close real quick. Yeah, nice and sleek. Minimalistic look, no pencil style earbuds. But yeah, I definitely like the look though. But with that being said, let's do a sound test. Real quick, be I forgot to mention, the next thing you want to do is download the, the Samsung Galaxy wearable app available on Google Play and then the App Store. So let's go through all the settings real quick. It's clean your earbuds regularly to make sure you're always getting full volume and rich balance sound. So that's self-explanatory there. And of course, as you see, I got 95 on both earbuds. Got my EQ set to dynamic, so that's how I'm going to test out the sound. I got bass boost, got soft, clear, treble boost. Let me turn off the light real quick so you guys can see it a bit better. Read notifications out loud. I got touch controls, ambient sound modes turned on, and we're going to put that to the test as well. Advanced seamless earbud connection. Find my earbuds, so let's, let's check how they look, how they work. Stand by. All right, so we're, I'm gonna find my earbuds now. I have them on the table right here, so let's start. Okay, and it's making a tweeting sound. As you see, or as you hear. Okay, let's do this again. It starts off low, goes up to high, but okay. But you get the idea on how that works to them. But it's a nice little feature to have. And then let's con continue on with the rest of the settings real quick. And of course, yeah, and I got about Galaxy wearable. And then that's pretty much it. All right, so now let's do a sound test. Stand by. All right, so I got a classic song queued up. I got Starboy. Featuring Daft Punk by the weekend. The the EQ set to dynamic and then max volume. So alright, one tap play and pause. Okay, it's going pretty hard on this. Oh I'm trying to put you in the worst mood. I mean, I'm trying to turn this out to his eye. Blending point two to hurt you. Why? I'm a tease you. Why? You spice her. All right. Like I said, I've been using these for about a couple of weeks or a week last week. These sound incredible. These are my new favorite earbuds. And then I was gonna do like a like a versus video between my uh, Anchor Soundcore Liberty Ear Twos just to see if they actually sound better than them. But on that note, let's finish the rest of our testing. So on that note, stand by. All right, so let's uh, check to see if you could play one earbud solo while the other one charges up in the case. So I'm going to play the music. So I'm going to put the left earbud in the case. Let me wipe it down. Okay, the music's still playing. I'm going to take it out. It's been playing the whole time. 
And let's put this one in the case. Let me wipe that down because according to the app, you need to keep these clean. Okay. And the music's still playing, so this is incredible. You could play from one earbud cell while the other one charges up in the case, so that's going to double up your battery life. Let me wipe this down, by the way. All right, so real quick, let's do do another thing. Let's uh, check the touch controls and stuff. Stand by. All right, so now let's check the touch controls. So I have two sides with play and pause, so I'm gonna do it on the left side. So one tap play and pause. Okay, that works with no problems. Plus, that works with no problems too. All right, skip to the next song. So it's double tap. Okay, that works. So triple tap to reverse. Okay, no problems. Now let's check quick ambient sound mode. Yo, what up? Okay, the music went low. I can hear my voice perfectly fine. Music went back up. Now let's check your voice assistant. What's the weather right now? Okay, so no problems with touch controls. So let's do some more testing real quick. Let's check uh, whenever you're watching a YouTube video. Stand by. Oh yeah, another thing. I have it set to ambient sound mode. So that I have it on permanently so I can hear my voice right now being a robot. So it works with no problems. So let's keep on going. Stand by. All right, now let's check to see if there's any lag when you're watching a YouTube video. So here we go. So let's do it from the buds. Literally no lag, of course. So these are perfect for watching YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, whatever you got. All right, so let's wrap things up here. But real quick, I want to talk about a few things. Stand by. All right, just to save a little bit of time in the video, just to put the video on full speed, I, uh, I walked very far just because they have like a 50 feet range and stuff. These pass the 50 feet range with flying colors, so there's no problems with that. And then call quality definitely works pretty well too. Because I've been using these all week, like I said, so they work with the call quality too. Or call quality works pretty good. Or awesome, should I say. You get my point though. But yeah, those are just the only two I just wanted to mention real quick. All right, so let's do one more thing real quick. Stand by. All right, so this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to listen to the same song, but I'm going to start off by using the Galaxy Buds first. Just listen to half of this song right there, and then I'm going to reverse it back and then try it out with the Soundcore Liberty Air 2s just to see which ones are better. So, real quick, stand by. Alright, sorry, sorry guys, I had a phone call. But let's let's start off with the Galaxy Buds. Okay, so they're already connected. So let's put it up on max volume. Okay. Alright, so one tap play and pause. I'm in the shadow of doubt. Oh, 
Okay. All right, so 33. All right, so we're going to do, we're going to reverse it back. And then we're going to try out the, the Soundcore Liberty Ear 2s now. Just to see how they sound. So let's pull them out. I'm going to put them in my ears. You already seen my full review on these already too. Okay, so we're all connected. So all right, double tap, play, and pause. Down. Okay. All right. Without a doubt, the when it comes to volume. The Soundcore Liberty Air 2s are a lot louder. Definitely louder. Has a lot of bass. But real quick, let me do one more thing real quick. I'm going to go set, the, set it to bass real quick and see if there's much difference to those. Because I have it set on a, what was it? I forgot what it was called. Uh, dynamic. 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 I can't even talk to you, I guess. But real quick, watch. Let's do this again. So stand by. Let me set the EQ to bass. Bass boost. Hold on just for a minute. Alrighty, guys. So I have it set to bass boost now. So let's get back to the song. And so I'm going to connect these on my ears real quick. Or put these in my ears. Sorry guys if I'm a little off today. It's been a long week. Alright, so one tap playing pause and the EQ set to bass. Okay. Alright, so as far as the the Galaxy Buds, they have some bit has like a nice clean bass line to it. But let's uh check the Soundcore Liberty Ear 2s just to see how they sound. Ah, and I dropped my earbud. Watch, hold up just a second, guys. Alright, my bad guys. I found the the left ear, but I put it back in the case. So now let's uh, take it back and now let's uh, check the sound cores again. Okay, so watch one more time, guys. All right, so let's do this again. So double tap, play, and pause. Yeah, so far, these are definitely louder. Okay, heard enough. I heard enough. But yeah, so far, when it comes to volume... These definitely are the most loudest earbuds that I've ever owned. Even though they look like AirPods, the pencil style earbuds. These definitely have a nice amount of volume, a nice amount of bass, without a doubt. But yeah, so far the, these are the winners though. But yeah, but the Galaxy Buds are still awesome though. But on that note, let's wrap up the video.
All right, so my overall experience with these earbuds, whenever I was using them for a week, and because I did a video on this, like I said, but my video got messed up, so I had to erase it. That's why I'm reshooting this video. But after using these for like a whole entire week, and then now, these are definitely an A+, plus for sure. I love that ambient sound mode feature. I can hear everything perfectly fine. So nice. Has a nice amount of sound with that AKG sound. Has wireless charging on the case. So I like everything about these earbuds without a doubt. And then the app. And then you got the Find My Earbuds feature. But the only downside to the Find My Buds feature, you have to have the earbuds out of the case. Both earbuds. So that's the only downside to that. But it is what it is, but it works though, as long as the earbuds are connected. And then no problems with uh, using one earbud solo. So it's going to double up your battery life without a doubt. And then you got wireless charging, so you could buy yourself a wireless charger for these. If you, Or if you have like a Boss a Samsung Galaxy phone that has wire, reverse wireless charging, just put them on the back. And just charge them like that. Unfortunately, like I said, my phone can't do that. But I'll get towards that phone pretty soon though. But yeah, they, they're wireless charge compatible. And then the sound, nice highs and mids. And then the bass is pretty clean. But the best sound to have it on, if you're going to be listening to loud music sometimes, I would prefer having it on dynamic. Dynamic has good has a good amount of bass to it too. But yeah, I'm giving these an A plus for sure. These are gonna be in my my new uh favorite earbuds that I've owned. So far it's been the Soundcore Liberty Air 2s, and then now these are my second. But I'll be taking a look at some more earbuds pretty soon though. But stay tuned for for those videos. Whenever I get get my hands on some new Truly Wireless earbuds. Because I was thinking about taking a look at the Jib uh, Truly Wireless. The Skullcandy Jib. And then some other ones. Some JVC Truly Wireless earbuds. The Gummy Truly Wireless earbuds. But we'll, we'll see about all those. But stay tuned for those videos if you guys would like to see it. Or hit me up in the comments about it. But anyways. Samsung Galaxy Buds. A+. You could get these on Amazon. Pick them up at Walmart. So prices are very. I know they go for a hundred bucks, but whatever price I find on Amazon and Walmart, I'll leave those links up in the description. But let me know in the comments on what your thoughts are on on this video and about these earbuds. So here's me one more time. So stand by. All right, so I've. I've been having fun with uh, using these Truly Wireless earbuds, the Galaxy Buds. They fit perfectly. They got a nice discreet look. They don't look like AirPods. They don't look like the Douche Buds or whatever everybody calls it, I guess. So yeah. Yeah, these are my new favorite earbuds. My camera fell out the tripod. But yeah. But... Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this video, so stay tuned. Because I'm going to be doing some cases for the Galaxy Buds as well. And then I'm going to be doing some more for the for the Samsung Galaxy A11. I already covered the Zizzo case yesterday, so I'll be doing a recap. And then some new cases all into one video. So all the ones I've done for the unboxing first impressions. And then the full review. And then the ones I did, what was it, last week. So I'm going to combine all those into one video, including the Zizzle Bolt Series case I did yesterday. So they'll be all featured in the video. So that'll be the final video probably for the cases. So I'm just going to put it all into one video, including the Galaxy Buds cases. It's going to be a combination video. So stay tuned for that one. But anyways, guys, I'm out. Deuces. Thank you.